Hello and welcome back to another reaction. In this occasion, Nichi Joe episode 8. Again, I'm giving up on this recapitulation for this anime because obviously it's impossible. What I do have to say is I love how they treat the first joke of the last episode. A very, very long joke. They took very seriously that moment because it needs to be serious yes there are silly things here and there but they are not so obvious and yes you kind of want to laugh because you're waiting for the joke you're waiting for that moment in which yes this is the joke because this is Nichi Joe. you are expecting a joke in every single moment what i like particularly about this one is the length they went to change the joke in its entirety. I wasn't expecting anything like what happened at the end of the joke. That yes, the little cubes were substituted by the sacred cubes or the legendary cubes or whatever you want to call them. I That caught me by complete surprise, which is something I'm thankful because it wasn't an obvious joke. I, or perhaps it was obvious and I was just not, uh, well, observant enough. I don't know. But still, I love the fact that it changed in the end. That it, 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 Okay, really? All of that for this joke? That makes it even better. That makes it even funnier, for me at least. So yeah, special commendation for that joke. It's amazingly well done. I love those type of jokes. The kind of build-ups and build-ups and build-ups. And BAM! The punchline is here and it's marvelous. It's so well done. But anyway, yeah, that is the only thing that I kind of miss saying in the last episode. So yeah, let's just cut off all this and watch the next one, shall we? Okay, I'm back. I just watched a second time the 8th episode of Nichi Joe. And just like last time, they make a different entry joke. Well, not so completely different. Uh, we're, uh, we saw this type of joke back in kind of in the first episode, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but with a different punchline in this case. This is why the humor of Nichi Joe works. Yes, you expect the joke. You are expecting that joke. You are expecting something funny is going to, to happen. Or something unexpected is about to happen. What you don't expect is exactly the nature of the joke. How, what is going to be an explosion? A kind of a normal-ish uh, way of dealing with a situation and I said normal-ish because yes there is something crazy uh, going on here so yeah that is what these jokes works uh, just like the first episode this is kind of uh, subverting expectations yes you're expecting a joke but you have no idea what the joke is going to be and that's why it's so funny because yes we started a very calm environment uh, the first uh, the first episode is kind of a uh, cute environment with the cats and imagining oh the cute cats and all that yes this one is more of a calm moment because yes Sakamoto is asleep in the bathroom uh, the professor is asleep on uh, her bedroom and Nano is doing the everyday chores like uh, I don't know watering the plants and I don't know washing uh, the clothes or something I really have no idea what she was doing well yeah I do she was just watering the plants I'm just exaggerating uh, anyway yeah everything is normal and hell even when I was expecting a joke alongside with the professor that when she wakes up something weird was going to happen but no actually the joke came from the fact that for some weird reason the fist of Nano just flew away and very very fast and yeah that is hilarious that portion is hilarious just the hands started to fly away of it what I don't know and that is the end of the joke. That was the joke for this brief period of time. And then we got the intro. Again, this is so ridiculous. But that's why the joke works. And then, of course, we return to our three favorite students. Uh, in this case, Yuko is trying to tell a joke to the other two. But it's not very successful because, come on, the jokes have to make sense. To make jokes, you need a lot of visuals. And... 
for this universe, for the universe of Nichi Joe, the weird visuals I ca are kind of the norm, so they are not that surprising. For us, it's hilarious because yes, the weird antics that happens every time that Yuko fails a joke, and yes, every single thing that is happening. Oh my God, I need to surprise myself because yes, that's what my friends want and all that. But in the end, they just just unfazed not even a smile not even a smirk nothing nothing and of course that is devastating yuko <laughs> because according to her in the first joke was to high brown of course it's not true what is funny is the reaction of yuko is the weirdness of the place <laughs> yes every single bit that they don't react to this weirdness and they are missing the school because i have no idea Honestly, they are just not in the school and they are on a train, a very old looking train. With the same face, with the unfaced face. Yeah. I don't know where, what the joke is there. <laughs> but of course it is unexpected. I was, what the hell is going on? Now, we're going back to the uh, sports club, to the soccer club. Sorry, not just sports, soccer. Soccer and Go Club, which is something ridiculous. And of course, they were three members. I thought the rest of the members were, were kind of, uh, I don't know, playing soccer or something like that. That's why they were never there. The president is just there because somebody else needs to, I don't know, guard the place or something. I, I don't know why I never questioned why nobody else was in the room, except of course the president and the other girl. No. Apparently, nobody goes to the club because nobody cares about the club. The last member they had just gave up on the club. <laughs> and that is, again, the joke. This is a constant joke because we learn how much this club sucks. Because they do nothing. They don't play soccer, they don't play goal, and they could not combine the freaking two activities to make something even better. It is genuinely ridiculous the fact that this club exists <laughs> and he's so bored because he has nothing to do because there is no other member the only other member is just breathing whatever she wants and he's just bored and bored and bored yeah it is a terrible terrible club then of course we have the little segments one of my favorites is when the professor is eating uh well popcorn she fails in her attempt into, well, putting it in her mouth by just throwing it in the air. And instead of just saying, oh, I want to try it again. No, she just throw the freaking popcorn at Sakamoto. And that's the joke. It's a very short one, but I like the way the professor looks. I always thought that she looks adorable, but in here, man, she looks so cute. Oh, she's just so adorable. Anyway, yeah, the short thought that seriously had nothing to do with the imagery in the background. And of course, we return to um, to our not rich guy because yes, he is not rich. He is just well a farmer kid. And of course, he's not girlfriend or the girl that he, she doesn't definitely doesn't like him for real. These guys, seriously. So yeah, we have our reunion, but again. The kind of normal situation that, oh yes, you drop this, I'm going to deliver this to you. But of course, I didn't do anything special except iron it and washing it and all that. Yeah, obviously. It, yeah, she is kind of uh, in love. I don't want to say in love because I think that is too much. Kind of crushing on this guy, I think is the better term. Anyway, yeah, uh, Sasahara is writing a poem in the air <laughs> while he watched the freaking fist pass by. <laughs> um, and it, it, yeah, it will be a normal situation, a normal kind of cutesy moment. Except for the fact that the girl, of course, is carrying a lot of weapons and attacking with said weapons. His crush, yeah, it's an over-exaggeration of the Sundere character. Oh, no, I don't like you, and I'm gonna kill you. And, well, kind of not Sundere, it's... I don't know what to call this. Genuinely, I don't know. Perhaps it's Sundere, perhaps it's not. Yeah, again, the joke is 
the ridiculousness of the situation. And in the last minute that the face is about to collide with these girls. And not about, well, he ended up colliding with her. But again, yeah, the obvious, I don't like you, but I like you, Baka, all of that. I, it's not that I like you, Baka. Uh, yeah, the situation here, again, it will be a lot cuter without the freaking weapons of mass destruction that this girl carries all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's a very ridiculous situation here. Uh, then, I genuinely love this small segment of... Things that we found, we find uh, cool, I think it was a segment, let me check. Things that we think are cool. Of course, Mew is their kind of meh participating, <laughs> but the other two are very enthusiastic. And yeah, it was kind of a bicycle with lights, that was it. There wasn't much to it, but of course they found it cute. But I love how they how they make Mio participate in the joke because they raise their uh, their arms one each of the girls, and yeah, that is simply the joke. I don't know why I love this one so much because. The first one I laugh a lot, and the second one I laugh a lot, and I'm about to laugh just by thinking of this stupid joke. Is that funny? For me at least, it's a very personal joke perhaps. I don't know why I found it this funny, but I found it hilarious. For me, this is the best joke of the freaking episode. Even better than the one that has build up. When they were uh, locked inside, of an elevator. My guess is they were they went to a someplace different and this is the elevator they took. Why they are locked, why they took the elevator, I have no idea. But yeah, the ambience here is very here is very depressing. It's, oh my god, this is terrible. Oh no, we are having the terrible time. We're about to die. We have days here. We're almost starving to death because yeah, we don't have anything. We have so many time in here. But again, there are two reasons why not to take this seriously. One is Nichi Joe. You are expecting a joke. Second, I love when uh, my. No, sorry, Mio is kind of drawing. And yes, the frame is of, obviously everything is framed, everything is black except for a small portion of the image, in which, of course, is uh, one of the students. But I love about this joke is that when she starts to draw and the draw starts to go outside of the black zone, the black zone expands a little so it can, the draw can be still seen. Yeah, those are small details that works for a joke. But of course, the punchline is here that you start to play a game, they say completely, something completely different, and they cannot longer hold back the freaking jokes. The jokes, the laughter, and yeah, they start to laugh, and that is the point, like, that yes, this wasn't such a dire situation because they start to laugh too much, but it's still a dire situation because I'm going to, she's dead! And, yeah, those small jokes, yeah, the build-up, again, is very long, but it works because it's funny. Uh, we took a section in the sports, of course, the, the, the soccer club that is still active, I don't know why. Then, of course, the race that she said, God, you just stay there and do nothing. And the Helvetic Standards moment because they, there's a soccer team and this is the last day of one of them. And they're trying to force the freaking uh, the freaking uniform out of him. And yeah, in the end, it works. Even though, okay, I'm going to take it with my own hands. Of course, he's not doing that and just kind of ruins the scene. It's weird jokes here. The last one, of course, is Sakamoto trying to be a dignified cat. Oh, you have to respect your elders. But of course, in the next scene, he's just running after his own tail, having so much fun, and of course, being discovered by the professor. <laughs> it is a very funny part. But of course, the ridiculousness of the last part. Yeah, everything is started with a snack. And of course, the offense here is that, uh, yeah, the professor called Nano a robot, and you cannot have cavities because you're a robot. And the weird thing part is that Nano wants cavities. Why? Because that will make her more human. 
Of course, everybody else will be so much happier if you say, oh, I can eat whatever I want and I don't get cavities. Man, that would be perfect for everybody. But of course, Nano wants to be as human as possible. And that's the joke. It's, again, a cute moment because, yeah, the professor regret calling her a robot and all of that. And of course, she's going to... Uh, she is going to make Nano more human. Again, a weird place to say that, oh yes, I'm gonna make you cavities, I'm gonna make you capable of this developing cavities. Yeah, it is a stupid joke. Then, of course, uh, we go back to the extra scene. In, 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 which ca in this case, we return to the girl and we saw the consequence of the hit of the hand. And she discovered a too young egg. My guess, she's embarrassed because she's imagining herself and uh, Sasahara like the eggs. Yeah, it's really ridiculous, but come on, it's a teenage girl. And of course, the presenters of the next episode is the eggs. Anyway, yeah, that is that was the episode to a T. Again, the jokes are very personal to me. Perhaps you didn't find that so funny just as much as I did. But I genuinely was laughing so hard, especially the second time, since I didn't have to hold back into the microphone because, yes, if I laugh too hard, eh, I'm gonna make you, well, kind of deaf because, again, I don't want to do that. The second time I was completely flipped, I was laughing so much. I love this episode, especially for that joke. Again, it's such a small joke, it's less than a minute of a joke, but I find it so much fun, and this is what I like about Ichijo, this is what I love about Ichijo, the jokes that really hit home run for me, it's just hilarious, it's so much fun to watch this anime, again, trying to explain why the jokes work, because of the randomness of the anime, not the jokes themselves, but why they work, that is kind of better I think in my case but anyway yeah I think I'm just start to ramble because I explained this already uh, so yeah let's just finish these guys and the only thing I have to say is thank you so much for your attention and well see you in the next one bye okay I hope you enjoyed that video and yes thank you thank you so much for your attention guys and as always if you want to leave a comment that will help me a lot more if you want to give me a like that will help me even more to get on the top of the recommendation for YouTube and if you want to share this video that will help me even more so yeah thank you so much guys thank you thank you thank you so much guys for your attention I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah see you in the next one bye